Hi, I'm Randy Leung, the Technical Marketing Manager at Netgear. Some Netgear Smart Managed Pro Switches with Insight Support now require you to register your product in order to access the full featured local management GUI. However, there is a simple way to still access limited features of the switch and even upload a pre-configured configuration file for the device without having to register. This is extremely useful for situations where the person configuring the switch is not the final end user or owner and therefore wishes not to register the switch to their own account, allowing the final owner user to register the device to their account. This video includes two demo tutorials. One shows you how to register one switch to access full GUI mode and export a pre-configuration file that you wish to copy to other switches. The other one shows how to access limited GUI without registering the device and upload the pre-configuration file. A few caveats before we start. The host PC should be in the same network with the management address of the switch, which is 192.168.0.239. The second is, with the latest firmware, Netgear is now requiring the user to change the default login password after the first login. And three, the configuration file that will be used must have the following. The same firmware version as on the switch as well as a configuration file. And the other one is the default login password of the configuration file. In this first demo, I will show you how to log on to the switch with a registration key and export a running configuration. So the first step is to Plug the switch in without connecting any Ethernet cables. And while the switch is booting up, you log on to the to your switch to host PC and you change the IP address. To 192.168.0.100. So now we are in the same network with the switch. So now I will log on to the switch. 192.168.0.239. Once I'm logged in, it would have two it would ask you for two different methods or three different methods to log in. The first is to register with Insight or the registration key or local login. So in this step, we need the registration key. Since this switch, this demo switch is currently registered to myself, I would get the key first i would dot would click on a dot for the switch i want to configure and hit view registration key so now i go back to the switch and i enter the registration key and I hit submit now it will ask me to do the local login password, which is in my case, netgear1. Login. So now my switch is now in full GUI mode. This is where I will do some a couple changes. would save and now I am going to export the file so from here I will go to export under maintenance click on 
HTTP file export, and it'll say text, text configuration, which is my current configuration. Hit apply, and now it would ask me to save it on my PC. And I saved it. So now it's now it's saved under here. Now I pretty much now I have completed the first demo, which is I logged in with the registration key. I made a few configuration changes, and then I saved the configuration. Now I exported it out to my PC to upload to new switches. In the second demo, now I am going to upload the pre-configured configuration I did in the earlier demo to a new out-of-the-box switch. So first step, again, is to plug the switch in without any Ethernet cables. While the switch is booting, you will go to the your host PC. And change the IP address of the switch. So in this case, 192.168.0.100 is my host PC. So when this is done, you would go back and log into the switch. 192.168.0.100. Now you go through a series of questions. Okay, so from here, since this is a brand new switch, there is no registration key or insight configured. So now I would do a local login. So which would be a local device login, click here. And the password is password. And then it will prompt for a new password, which is I will put netgear2 and netgear2 submit. Now it will prompt me to do a re-login again with the new password. Again, local device login. And the device password again will be now netgear2. Login. So now we are logged on to the GUI, the dashboard, the GUI dashboard of the switch. If you noticed, the system name, location, contact is blank. So again, this is a out of the box default switch. So now I would upload the new configuration file. I will click on maintenance, then update, then HTTP firmware update. And I will scroll down for text configuration, click on browse, and my startup configuration file that we saved, we created earlier. Hit apply. So now it has completed and now it would reboot the switch for me and bring me back to the original login page. Okay, now I'm back onto the, the login page again after the, the configuration file update. So again, local login, and I'll put in the password, which is now netgear1, because that was what was created earlier. And now my fields have changed. And now I'm running the latest configuration file. This concludes our demo for 
log, local login and uploading a configuration file. Thank you.